Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today's December 31st, 2013, and we're right on the cusp of 2014 with today being New Year's Eve. So I wanted to make this video both to say Happy New Year's to you guys and also to announce some incredibly awesome news. And this is perhaps the best news since the Evasion Untethered iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak utility was released by the Evaders last week. But again, before we start off and talk about all of that, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. And I wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me through 2013. And even before that, for those of you who have been longtime subscribers, 2014 is going to be absolutely great. And I have some really awesome plans in store for my channel, websites, and free app life. All right, now moving on to what I wanted to mostly discuss in today's video. So for those of you who don't know, early this morning, Sarik, the creator of Cydia, released an update to Mobile Substrate, version 0.9.5 thousand. It's now been renamed to Cydia Substrate, and I'm going to give you guys some more details on it. In addition to adding 7.0.4 jailbreak support, the new version also adds ARM64 compatibility, meaning the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the second generation iPad Mini, with Apple's A7 64-bit CPUs can now join in on all of the incredible tweak offerings from Cydia. For those of you who were unaware, Cydia Substrate, which previously and often referred to as Mobile Substrate, is essentially the foundation upon which jailbreak developers create tweaks for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models. Now, thanks to Sarik, all of those who jailbreak 7.0.4 can take full advantage of existing, provided they've been updated for iOS 7 and future Cydia packages. So until now, due to the fact that the evaders rushed their work on the untethered Evasion 7 jailbreak, for more details on the topic and why they rushed it, I recommend watching my most recent episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. I'll have a link to that on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. The majority of Cydia and jailbreak developers have been waiting to release updated versions of their utilities for iOS 7 and newer A7 powered devices until Sarik issued his substrate update. Furthermore, iPhone 5S, iPad Air, and second generation Retina iPad mini models have, for the most part, remained as ordinary as they were in their non-jailbroken states. So finally, developers can begin to submit updates for their Cydia apps, modifications, tweaks, and other packages. So in the days to come, we should see a slew of new and incredible iOS 7 add-ons flood Cydia. And of course, for those of you who aren't currently jailbroken, I highly recommend doing so sooner rather than later because it's inevitable that Apple will release a firmware update that patches the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak. So again, if you aren't jailbroken, just be sure to visit my untethered jailbreak guide. I will have a link to my video tutorial on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, and I'll also include a link to that down below in the more info. And now I wanted to take this time to talk about my iPhone 5S, which of course has been jailbroken. As you can see, I have Cydia on the homepage there at the bottom, and you may actually notice that the screen looks a little bit different. That's because I have something installed called Flux. And what Flux allows you to do is essentially change the color temperature of the whites at nighttime to make your phone or your iPad or even iPod Touch easier to look at. So as you can see, when I bring this setting down inside of Flux, the screen becomes easier to look at at night. You can also disable it temporarily, which I'm going to do for the remainder of this video, just so you guys can see some more accurate colors. Also, you will notice that I have something similar to multitasking gestures on the iPad, and that's because I have Activator installed. I have the beta version right here, and I got this, of course, from Cydia, and what you can do from Activator is set different triggers for various tasks. So I'm just going to go to one that I have set up really quick. So I'm going to go to anywhere. And then from there, I can select a different trigger like I was talking about before. And I'm just going to go to five finger pinch, which I have that set to the home button. I also have the other finger pinches set to the home button as well. So I can do it every single time. And again, just navigate to the home screen or emulate the home button with those five finger pinches. And as of now, something else that I definitely recommend is MyWi. It allows you to create a Wi-Fi hotspot, but that's not all. You can also USB tether and Bluetooth tether to save battery. You can even use MyWi on demand in conjunction with a jailbroken iPad that intelligently turns on Wi-Fi tethering when you need it, and it doesn't have it on when you don't need it, which of course saves battery and is definitely better than any other tethering app you'll find. Of course, those are just three of my favorites available inside of Cydia 
is that are confirmed to work on all current jailbroken iOS 7 based devices. And I will have some more videos for you guys once developers update their tweaks inside of Cydia. So of course, just be sure to stay tuned. All right, and to wrap this video up, I just wanted to talk about free app life. So for those of you who don't know what free app life is, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown. So just open the mobile Safari app on your iOS device, navigate to freeapplife.com, create an account. Once you have your account created, simply download and open the FAL tracking app once, and then you'll be able to download sponsored applications for points, earn points, and then you can use those points to redeem various prizes such as paid application codes from Apple's App Store and gift cards. So as you can see in the app section, here are all of the paid applications that I can download simply by using points that I was awarded by downloading sponsored applications, again, from the get points section. So this is a really great and incredible service that allows users to support developers while also earning their applications for free. And especially gift cards too, it's a really great way to earn them, again, just by downloading applications. You'll also be able to enter multiple giveaways. We hold them on the service all of the time, so I highly recommend checking it out. And if you guys like this video and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, speaking of gift cards, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And finally, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and city a tweak list, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.